everyone, my name is Sylvia, I'm a microbiologist and today I'm not here alone. I am joined by trillions of microorganisms. They live inside of my guts, in my mouth, nose and ears and even all over my skin. And you have your own assortment of microorganisms inhabiting your body. We call this our microbiome. All of these microbes do not simply live alongside us, but they impact our lives in various ways. Just imagine living in a shared apartment with a lot of roommates. You may call some of them your good roommates. Those who help keep the apartment clean, maybe share their dinner with you, and apart from that don't bother you much. Whereas the bad roommates may be just the opposite. Messy, selfish and getting on your nerves. Now this scenario is not that far from reality regarding your actual microbial roommates. From keeping the apartment clean by consuming unwanted metabolites from your body, or sharing dinner with you by metabolizing nutrients to make them available for your body. But the bad microbial roommates may not just get on your nerves, but actually make you sick. It has been found that an unbalanced microbiome can play a role in many disease contexts, which is why researchers are eager to find out how the microbiome works and what its interplay with us as the human host looks like. Uh, the most numerous microbes in our microbiome are the bacteria, but who else is there? Well, beside viruses and fungi, a group of relatively unknown microorganisms can be found in almost all of our microbiomes, the so-called archaea. These single-celled organisms were first thought to be bacteria, but later found out to belong to a completely separate domain in the tree of life. And since their discovery was only roughly 50 years ago, there is still an abundance of research questions waiting to be answered. I personally wonder, what are the archaea doing in and on my body, and what are the implications for human health and disease? In order to answer these questions, I want to approach one group of the archaea, the methanogens, in two ways. First, I want to isolate viruses that are specified to infect the methanogens. These viruses can be used to specifically target the methanogens right inside their microbiome habitat without disturbing the other microbes. So I could, for example, find out what happens if the methanogens were to disappear by eradicating them with these viruses. In my second approach, I want to establish genetic tools to be used on the methanogens in a collaboration with researchers from the Max Planck Institute. Genetic tools can be used, for example, to find out the function of a certain gene of interest by deleting it from the genome and observing what happens with the mutated organism. Using these tools, I hope to gain new insights into the growing field of microbiome sciences without, and find out if this group of archaea are more like the good roommates or the bad roommates.